Alrighty. Hello, hello everybody. This is Kirusho here, and now, before we do start, let us give a brief little review. In the last part, a number of events have happened. We had Deku, we also had the Avengers. Now, Deku, he has not heard about anything from Ultron in the last five days. And, while all this is happening, he has been doing quite a bit of things. He is currently purging Ultron from all of his systems and trying to make sure his network is secure. He's also begun development on a Markade armor, which will be using this new and improved system. It's easier right now to just move ahead than it is to modify and then move forwards. Izuku used the Nanites from the Mark II style suit, purged them from Ultron systems, and then was able to put them into the Mark VIII. With how many nanites he already does have, this was simple. And the Mark VIII, it is comp comprised of a synthetic nano fluid. That means the armor is more atone to a secondary skin. And that, that's how the armor has already felt to Izuku. But this takes it to a whole new extreme. Now, Deku, he's got a lot he can do with this armor. It can hold shape, modify shape, and even modify texture. And this is a unique trait to the armor. The Mark VII already had the idea for a technological eating system. A way for the Nanites to replace, replicate, and repair armor. But while this armor is more akin to that, it does not have the ability to eat technology. And Izuku, that may be a flaw he created, but he does need to repair. Because it does have the capability of shape-shifting the armor, allowing him to build weapons on the spot, and even do quite a bit. The armor is unique for a number of reasons. Though where it does have newer strengths, it does have newer weaknesses. And that might bite Izuku in the end. Now, with that being said, Deku revealed to the Avengers quite a lot of things. He posed ideas and things they can do to stop Ultron. Hank Pym would know how the monster thinks. It's him after all. And Ultron, he could have done things simple and easy. The nuclear method, but he didn't. And with him gone for five days, there's no telling what he might be doing, what he might be planning. And T'Challa and the Avengers, they need to get things prepared. He's been using Wakandan systems to try and hunt down the monster, keep Wakanda's vibranium secured, and keep Wakanda completely isolated right now. If Ultron does get into their cities, it's going to be a problem. Because the only way through that shield is either an immense amount of force being pushed through it, or for you to get into their systems. And Wakanda, they've kept themselves secrets for thousands of years. So this should be an impossible task for Ultron to do. If they don't want anyone inside, they won't get in. And if they're inspect expecting an invader, yeah, good luck. Now, currently we do actually have Deku, who does go to fly down to Avengers Tower. Right now him gonna land as he has a turn. This being where Peter, he does sit there with his mask somewhat pulled up. Him sipping a drink with a straw. And Deku does get a turn. <laughs> hey Pete. Hey. How you doing? Deku can actually turn his head as the armor. It does begin to retract the metals as they do appear to liquefy. Right now, spider man going to watch that in... Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? That's a bit creepy to watch. Why? Uh, ever hear of Venom? Oh. Uh, yeah. I have, I guess. Yeah, that's why. Listen, uh... Izuku, you and I do need to talk about a few things. Right. I guess we do. If you're wondering about the marriage, it's not what you think. Not official, at least, and... 
We were paired together. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> there was no ceremony. I didn't invite you because there was nothing to be invited to. Okay, uh, no. <laughs> I, I'm, I've got questions about that, but it's about you, actually. Well, not you, you, but another you. It's complicated. Uh-huh. So what do you mean? Now, Peter would try to express. Okay, so he's sort of multiverse theory. It's a bit weird, but he met a version of him who was him in another universe. It's a weird thing to say and try to explain. But I mean, the fact that he actually saw his face, it made a few things click. What do you mean? I'm saying I've met you before. A variant of you. <laughs> You're joking. No, I wish I was. I mean, I knew I... I knew Izuku wouldn't be a common name, but... You just sort of... You know? Oh. That's... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. But listen. I just had to get that on my chest, man. It's super crazy to think about. Besides, I mean, Ree Richards, he and, well, everybody need, ah, uh, my god. My brain's fried. Okay. Come on, Pete, calm down. <laughs> I'm guessing everyone's inside. Yeah, yeah. By the way, could I, um, get a favor from you? Uh, what is it? Listen, I would need help, and I was hoping for a suit design. You want me to build you a suit? Not exactly, I'm just saying. It would be appreciated. Huh. I definitely can, but I've never really built tech for other people. Though, we can talk about that later. He went to turn, and the idea does go through his mind. He had the idea to build Crystal an Iron Man suit, or Iron Lady Maiden suit. Yeah, he had the idea to build her one like that. Though with her inhuman powers, it's not really needed. All they do is more act like a layer of protection. But building a suit for Spidey, now that's something though a version of him with those powers. Hmm. It went through his head. And Deku, he does get a walk into the room. I know there being a few people here. There does stand Bruce Banner, along with Reed Richards and Medusa. And Deku, he has a turn. Right on him seeing Rhodey walk up with Hank Pym. And Hank does have his hands shackled together as he is sat down in a chair. And the three, or four, do at least try and ask about exactly what Hank might do in this situation. Hmm? I. Listen, I don't know. You don't know or you will not tell. I don't know. Hank, you have to listen. Are you going to step forwards? If you don't help us, Ultron will hurt a lot of people. He's already killed. He's already hurt civilians. We have reports coming in. It's not been pretty. The fact of the matter is, Wakanda wants you held liable for this. We're trying to keep it hidden right now and under wraps. But if you don't help us try and fight him, stop him, a lot of people could die. Like I said, I don't know. Bruce is going to step forwards. And go to someone hesitate. Listen, man. It's a lot like this, Hank. 
Just what do you think he'd do? What would you do in this situation? And Deku, here's a step forwards. Right now, him walking into the room as someone does a turn. Rodi, seeing Deku as he does, look a little worn. And Izuku, he does just don't stand there. Him watching Hank Pym try and mutter out a few words. Though, it doesn't look good. And Deku, he doesn't begin to use his powers. Right now, him with a lot of things going through his mind. As he does stare at Hank Pym. His suit's been deactivated. That's good, but why is he getting a... Oh. Now, Deku, he has to bring up his hand. Him going to step forwards as everyone... They do go to watch Deku walk right up behind Hank Pym, bring his right hand down and grabbing directly at Hank's throat as he has to pick him up. And the moment Deku does to do this, everyone does watch on. As Deku, he does go to electrocute Hank Pym. Deku does it in a turn, putting him back down in the chair as he has to turn his hand. Him holding it out as right now they're actually Medusa. Whoever Reed did get a turn and bring his hands out to stretch, she wrapped her hair around him and tried to hold him in place. However, that, that was quite strange as Deku sat him down and then turned his hand to Rodi. As right now Bruce Banner, he has a turn stepping away, trying to keep him, himself calm, not allow his mind to run, run rampant, and release Hulk. Now, Rodi does stare at Deku, yelling about how torture is not what they were going to use. Hank is an ally, not some sort of prisoner. And fact of the matter is, that isn't what they... Hang on. They're going to turn back. Bending down. His eyes are going to glow as he doesn't see it. It's hidden in Hank Pym's mind. There's something inside. Something robotic. And Deku, he does try to talk about it. That disabled them. I'm going to turn. And ask Reed how good he is at brain surgery. And Reed's kind of confused. As Deku does talk about it, looking back at Hank Pym, Ultron put something inside of his head, and it might be what Ultron's been using to stay ahead of them this whole time. Ultron's been watching them from Hank Pym's very eyes, and that is a problem. Now, Ultron, he does sit there currently in his own lab, and he does gonna turn his head. Staring at something that he has created, wondering if it might work. It should be a near perfect duplicate, but that that will have to wait. He wants to know if she is. No, no. She's not ready. She is still in development. It running across his mind. How things feel. As Ultron. If he is Hank Pym's mind, just unrestricted, unrestrained, then why does he still feel? Why does he still think about breathing? Why does he still somewhat feel that scratch on his nose that he knows doesn't exist? All these phenomenons he has to overcorrect. Things he should remove from himself. He is not human. He is the monster humanity has created. And that is the result of genius unrestricted. His objective is simple. The safeguard and protection of all humanity by any means. And that, it does cross his mind. Him going to turn his head staring at the robot, wondering if it will work. And there currently is Deku, who does go to sit there and think about it a lot. Right now, him with a pair of goggles covering his face as he does think about what is going to happen on Attilan. Thinking about the future. Thinking about if that place gets attacked. If the Inhumans deal with a threat worse than this. And Deku, he has a turn. Right now, Reed going to actually bring his hand out and grabbing something. Him going to express. 
currently sliding it over and setting it down with his hand as he's going to go back to Hank Pym's open head. And Hank, he does lay there as Reed is trying to express he could have taken less drastic measures. However, what he's seeing here, this is certainly something. Hmm. So, is it what I believed? It's machinery, in fact. However, its purpose is unknown. You say that you found him. Like this? How did you not pick up on it before? I don't know. Whatever it was, I could just feel it. It was different this time. Doug looked down his hand. Think about how the machinery he must have sensed before. It wasn't in his helmet. It was in his head. Though, Ultron, he took control of Hank Pym for what reason? It just seems bizarre. Though, if he wanted to keep them one step behind, no. That must be what it's doing. It must be suppressing Hank's personality. The psychotic side? Or just keeping him in a general malaise. He's a very brilliant mind. However, right now, Hank has him put to a low. A low point. And Deku, he does feel sort of sad for the man. And Reed, he does continue the operation. Getting this strange device out of his head. And Deku, he does help Reed patch Hank Pym back up. The two do somewhat speculate about the device. Deku speculates that it could be something... It's a failsafe. A way for Ultron to revive. If he is taken down, it's a simple method. Something easy. It's either a way for him to get back to life by taking over Hank Pym's mind, releasing it into his brain and take it over. Become Hank Pym. B. It could possibly be a bomb. A way for Ultron to take him out or hold him potentially hostage so the Avengers can't act to stop him. Holding a life in their hand. Ultron could use him as a hostage. A way to keep them at bay. Or C. It could just be a me method to keep Hank Pym confused, docile, and unable to help them. Without his smarts, Without the way he thinks, they cannot take down Ultron. And that is a variable Ultron he of course wanted to account for. And the two, they go back and forth on this. Deku, he's adamant about what this device might be able to do. And currently there actually is Ultron. Ultron, he's got a few things going through his own mind. However, he is sick and tired of waiting. He's going to take down the Avengers and go about things his own way. Most of the heroes are gathered in one location. Most of. So, he plans to take down who he can, and then, quite possibly, head to Attilan, get into their systems and see what he can do there. It is an idea, though he could just launch a missile directly at the city. <laughs> What's he kidding? They take it out. He needs something with more oomph. Maybe a bigger bomb. Maybe the biggest bomb possible. Make a device that would quite literally unstabilize the world and their moon. That's something. How about that? Or maybe... Hmm. <laughs> a way to take out this miserable planet and the Inhumans at the same time. That's an idea. Not just drop a bomb on the Earth's core. Why not just drop the moon on Earth? I mean, that would be quite the spectacle. He will protect the planet. And then he can move on to his own desired things? His protocols will become obsolete. And his mind will be clear. Now that's an idea. And Deku, 
Yeah. He's on with an Ultron. He has his attack underway. Currently, the robot's going to be sent out. And whenever Wakanda and the Avengers systems get reports of the robot sightings, Deku, he has a turn. Right now, him going to at least activate his computer and begin to integrate with it. Trying to understand what exactly might be out there. And it comes back as they're in New York. Okay, traffic camera access. Come on, pull up the map. Okay, okay. They're going to turn. I'm going to yell out as Spidey does a jump up. Him trying to express about what's going on. As currently, throughout the entire building, Ultron robots begin to swarm in. Multiple robots crashing through the windows and going to actually land down and bring their hands up. Them going to get ready. And Deku, he does get a turn. Right now, him being sent flying as robot is a blast of the wall and send an explosion out. Deku having his armor throw up the front plate of it and try to protect him. Now, Deku, he does not have his armor hardened in response to the trauma. And whenever he's sent flying backwards, he does go to smash the wall and crash through it. Him go to actually sit there for a second and get back up. Bring his hands up as he does go to fire out his pulse he has to full out his pulse weapons. And Deku, he has to watch the robot get smashed into by it as they do actually bring their hands up. Them trying to defend as they try to blast back. And Deku, he has to see that. Currently, Reed is going to fly forwards and bring his own hands up. His fingers elongating and wrapping into the robot. As Deku, he has to watch Reed expand parts directly at the joints as the robot's joints do begin to explode. Them popping out. As Deku, he has a turn watching that. And Reed, he has a son sit there. Him going to actually walk over and bend down. Seeing that they were actually able to damage one of these androids. And Deku, he does not smile. Though, he is concerned. That setting should have been able to fry it. But it didn't. Okay. Got to increase the power output on that then. But now Deku... We actually have the nanites do one thing. They all do go to wrap down towards the gauntlet. Them going to adjust his repulsor and change a few things about it. And Deku, he does go to flex his hand. Right now him trying to think about what he can do. As there actually is with the Ultron robots, they are beginning to invade the tower. Causing mass hysteria for some of the heroes. And they're currently as Crystal. Who does go to bring up her hands? Them sparking with lightning, actually to blast them out directly at some of the robots. Her trying to do whatever she can. And there currently is one machine. Who does go stand there and sitting against the wall? I'm going to turn and bend down as he's going to bring up his arm and fire off what he can at the robots. The missiles fly through the hallway and going to explode as Bucky, he does talk about it. I'm going to turn and run out. Throwing his head out and throwing the shield. It heading directly against the wall and smashing out towards one of the robots. Bucky going to actually run forwards and leap through the air. Him dodging an attack as he does a land and turn. Grabbing the shield and throwing it directly across the robots. Slashing him across the chest as it's going to cut through the metal like butter. On the robots, they all do a step backwards. Bucky going to actually turn and bring up the shield to cover his back. As the explosion is going to go off. And the robots, they are taken down. Now, Deku, he does get a turn, asking Reed about what he's doing. And Reed does go to express that he's going to try and get into the systems. See what he can do. This might take him a few minutes, buy time, and allow him to do this. And Deku, he doesn't understand. However, he does to do one thing. He does to send out a ping. And currently, there actually is Friday. Who, she is staying there in the armory. Her helping to redesign a device. As there actually is where Deku, he does ascend the ping and she does a stare, stare up at it. Her turning her head, looking directly towards the direction of Earth. And she's going to get up. Since Ultron, he's on the move. And it is not good. Her going to turn back to the device. 
However, it is left unfinished. Though, the additional input... Hmm. There's an idea. That ran through her mind. And Deku, he does go to wait. However, when Ryuzu gets a response back, he has to tell Reed that backup is on the way. And we do currently cut to the hallway. Where everyone, they were trying to do quite a few things. Crystal, bring her hands up and throw her hand out. Her, going to freeze the air in front of her as the robots are covered in the ice. Some, going to fly forwards and smash into it, trying to break through. As Crystal does, they get ready. Bring her hands down together as they're actually a Spidey, who currently is trying to do his best. Him using his web shooters and blasting out at many of the robots, trying to cover them in web grenades and make sure that they can be immobilized. But that is easier said than done. His spider sense is ringing in his ears, and currently he has a rovade one of the attacks as he actually gets struck by another one. Him can actually turn as there actually is where one machine he has actually fly through one of the walls. Him smashing a robot and bring his hand back, punching it into the face and blasting his machine gun directly off of his wrist. And the robot does not take the blows before it does actually turn off. And he has a turn getting back up, trying to yell out orders to the Avengers. And Deku, he does go to actually someone stand there in the hallway. As one of the robots, they do come to walk around the corner. And Deku, he stares at this one confused. Since it stares at him sideways. And what the fuck is going on? Now, the robot is going to fly towards him. Deku, bring his hand up and going to pull it back. Him, going to actually have a thruster, form on the back of his forearm and blast outwards. Deku smash the robot and get flying down the hallway. Him gonna fly forwards and bring with his left arm. Him gonna actually open his hand as he has make claws on the end of his wrist or on the end of his fingertips. Him gonna actually slash them down to the robot as he has a watch the robot take the attack. And Deku, he does it a back up. Him staring at that as the robot, it does gonna bring his hands up. It's blasting them out at Deku as Deku hits it, bring up his arms, and they do go to expand and create shields. And Deku, he does go to actually stand there. Just trying to think about what to do. Since the alloy, it is working. Though, okay. Density, 10% increase. The alloy going to respond. And Deku, he does begin to actually walk forwards. Him going to have the arc reactors or arc reactors, the repulsors from the other side of his hands and blast out. The robot's a lot more alarmed as is going to take the attack. Right now Deku would actually have his Unibeam charge up for he's going to throw his hands up and the Unibeam does it a blast out. It going to actually collide directly with the robot so it's flying through the wall and breaking apart. And it does a land. And Deku, he does it bring his hand up. Him going to actually have his, well, suit reform back into the actual suit. And Deku, he does begin to tell his suit, increase your ability by 30%, and begin molecular shift. No, begin molecular shift. There we go. I could not say that for a second. Now, Deku, he does try to think about a few things. His suit begin to respond, and then Deku, he does feel it settle back down. Him going to just stand there, and then going to turn. Him bring up his arm and checking to see a few things. So his mobility is still there. And Deku, he does gonna fly forwards. Why not him flying through one of the walls and bringing his hand back? As he does gonna actually bring his hands outwards, he does gonna create one simple thing. He does gonna send a pulse attack directly into the room. And the armor, wherever it does allow the electromagnetic attack, the burst goes colliding with everything inside the room machinery. Everyone a lot more alarmed as Rody he does a turn. Him gonna actually bring his hands up and fly backwards, trying to escape the attack. And Deku, he does a turn his head seeing War Machine. Him gonna actually tell his armor to stop as it does begin to try and shut down. And Deku, he does not stand there before the armor, it does go let go of the attack. And Deku, he does this not fall to the ground for a second. Him trying to catch his breath, since the armor, yeah. 
producing that took him down by 7%. Okay, so he probably should get a recharge soon. I'm going to stand and looking around, asking everybody if things are okay. And Spidey, he does it actually get up. Him bring his hands up and seeing, oh, come on. Him just grabbing his web shooters, pulling them off and going to turn. Toss them away since they just got fried. And Spidey does a turn to Deku, asking him if he's going to replace those. Which is Zuku does a turn and stare at him, talking about how they'll handle that later. Though, can he still be Spider Man? And he doesn't inform him. No. Deku a bit annoyed. Though, he does a turn and ask everybody else if they have a plan. And Friday, does come flying down to Earth. As we do have where Ultron, he does go to land. Right out him on the landing pad outside of the tower. And Deku, he has a turn walking out to greet him. As Ultron, he does go to Express. Now he's quite happy to see that they are all trying to work together. But in the end, they will all fail. And Deku, this is the walk out, trying to tell Ultron that maybe he clearly hasn't gotten the memo, but they're going to take him down. To which Ultron simply just does it a laugh, expressing that it's quite cheesy that the heroes think they'll come out on top. Quite used to that. Though their last failure, it ended up with half of the universe being wiped from existence. And Deku stares at that. Ultron going to step forwards, him bring his hands up and going to try and disrupt Deku's armor. Him going to send out his own EMP. And Deku, he does have a shield activate as his armor, it does going to send out its own corresponding burst to negate Ultron's. And Ultron, he does just want to stare at that. Him a lot more intrigued. Because clearly the boy, he learned. And that, it does make him smile. White, the <laughs> energetic little cockroach. Now, Ultron doesn't bring his hand up. And Deku, he doesn't stand there as many of the robots to come flying up. Ultron going to express that they really should understand. They're outnumbered. There's no way to win. In fact, the only reason why they've still been alive is because he's allowed it. And that is a mistake he is finally going to correct. Though, he will express this to Izuku. It has been interesting seeing him. A human who just won't die. <laughs> well, add that to the list of problems he does have. That need correction. Now, Bucky does come walking forwards. Right now him and the Avengers. Bucky going to tell him. Maybe he's not the one paying attention. Besides, he's letting his ego clutch judgment. Though, he won't lie. That was always one of Hank's faults. Now, Ultra turns attention towards them. Him a lot more annoyed. Since he is not Hank Pym. Hank Pym is lying in that tower recovering. And will be one of the people who die today. Now, Deku, he has a turn. As right now, there is Bucky Barnes. There is Bruce Banner, who he's trying to debate whether or not the Hulk is needed here. Since if things do get too crazy, he can let the big guy out. But if he does, that, cause, that might cause more problems. There's Mr. Fantastic, and there is Ben Grimm. There's Medusa and Crystal. And Crystal's going to bring her hands up. Her going to allow electricity to flow from her fingertips as she does to express that he needs to know they'll win. They always seem to come out on top. And Ultron, he has stare at everybody. As there actually is Rhodey, who does come flying in and smashing to Ultron's back. Him bring his hand up and run up stabbing his arm into him. Him blasting out with his gun at point blank range, believing that the armor piercing bullets might be able to do something. And Ultron, he has to bring his hands up. Him grabbing at Rhodey's arm 
and going to put pressure down onto it. As he has to break the arm and crush the gauntlet. Rhodey going to scream out in pain as he has a flying backwards and away. And Ultron does do one thing. He does a turn. One of the robots going to turn and fly towards him. As they do fly towards the Avengers as well. And everyone, they do begin to try to fight. But Deku, he's going to fly up. I know him flying towards Ultron as Ultron is going to turn. Him going to actually turn and blast it at Deku. And Deku's going to bring his arms up. Him going to have his armor tank the attack and harden in response. Why not it going to try and redistribute the force throughout the armor? And Deku, he does actually have a part of his shoulder blow open. Him going to feel the pain as it does alarm him. Before the armor does begin to repair, and he does going to turn his attention back towards Ultron. And Deku, he does going to stare at the current scene. As Ultron has his arm up. And Rhodey, his arms, they're limp. Ultron impaled him, and currently he does not let go. Him lowering his arm as Rhodey's suit is gonna fly off of it. Him currently heading down below, towards the ground of New York City. And Deku, his eyes widen. Him getting angry and flying towards Ultron, because that pissed him off. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.